really um, nice things that she sh she shares. Like, I, don't <laughs> I don't think I'm in competition with my friends. Mm -hmm. I Hi guys, um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ndeupewa. If you are new here, if you are returning, thank you for coming back. You guys can call me Pewa. Today I have a guest. This is my, I think it's my third guest on the channel. Um, Wilka. Wilka has a channel as well. Should I call you Wilka or Nangula? <laughs> Wilka slash Nangula. <laughs> She has a channel. Um, I will link it in the description box below. Please do check out do, do check out her channel. She has some really um, nice things that she she shares. <laughs> okay, she has some really nice things that she shares. Um, I think just introduce yourself. Thank you. So hi, my name is Walker, aka Showstopper. You can call me showstopper in here. Mm -hmm. You can just call me Wilka Nangula, whichever one you're comfortable with. Yeah. But yeah. Whichever you can privileged. pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually Vilka. Oh yeah. yeah it's it's Vilka. Uh, oh damn. So my dear. You should just stick to Nangula. Yeah, no. <laughs> Nangula it is, ne? Yes. But your channel says welcome us. Mm -hmm. Wilka Nangula she means. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I will link it below and you guys should please check her out thank you so this week do you think you have friends who sort of like hate you secretly like female friends because i know women um compared to male friends women have the most issues mm -hmm. currently i think i am grateful that i don't really i don't have a lot of friends anymore mm -hmm. i used to have a lot of friends and i feel like we just we just fell out whatever happened happened um but for the most part we fell out um but do you think women secretly not hate but dislike each yeah. other yes i think so mm -hmm. now because <laughs> <laughs> the thing is this this lady walks up to me um it was a few weeks ago and then she says do you know that you're those girls that people like but secretly they don't like you no. because they think you have everything together and like, ah, why is she maybe she's working, she's she's not looking bad, you know, she's yeah. not, you know, they'll like you, but they don't really like you. And then I was like, thank you. Yeah, but I think yeah. I think that sort of it stems from a place of of envy, jealousy, yes, jealousy, or comparison as well. Like you want to be at the place that person is, but then I don't know, like. I mean, our journeys are different. Yours might take you another five years to actually get to where Nambula is. Yeah. Um, but the women just, in general, I feel like they, the word in Oshwambo is really Yeah. <laughs> but I am grateful for the friends that I have at the moment, um, if they are secretly hating me or disliking me. I will know. So, and we are, we understand each other, you oh, know, so you think. and I think, or, or at least also I think, mm -hmm. but I think uh, also it's, um, it's a place of competition as well. Yeah. I think it comes from a place of competition where friends, where I don't want, I know we are friends, but I don't want you doing better than oh, I am yes, doing. Exactly. And I don't want, because sometimes you'd find friends that are, like I have a friend of mine in my circle of friends, like my, my, my very mini circle of friends. One of my friends actually bought a car first. Mm. And then after I bought my car, you know, some people would probably want to buy something better. Yeah. You know, like, but for me, I didn't even care. Like, I'm just like, you know, as long as I have a car that yeah. is going to take me from A to B. I, I really don't care what it looks like. Um, okay, I'm not going to buy like just any car though, but I didn't, I really didn't care. Okay? Yeah. Like, I didn't think, I don't think I'm in competition with my friends. Yeah. I am not trying to be better than my friends. I am trying to be better than the person I was yesterday. Because for me, I think, okay, you can secretly dislike somebody. Like for me, I was there when, before I got saved, you know, because I was like, 
I grew up and you know our parents always encourage us to be the best. Yeah. So it's it's it becomes normal for you to compare yourself. Mm -hmm. Cause you're like your mom's like, oh you got 80. So how much did other people get? You yeah. know, you need to do better. You need to be better in this. Oh, you're running a race and the person gets first prize. You know, you wanna be the one that gets first yeah. prize. So it's normal for you to compare, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And then in that time, um envy and jealousy started stemming up because yeah. At, in 2004, I lost my voice due to tonsil operation and all that. Sure, okay. So I was like very shy to talk in front of people because I'm like, I don't sound the same anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't feel good about myself. No wonder you have a good voice. Exactly. <laughs> you know, people think it's like natural. Yeah. So like, oh, but it actually sounds nice. You're eh? born like yeah. this, or you have a cough, you have flu. Yeah. Or do you so drink a lot, do you smoke? This is the first time I'm hearing about this though. Yes. Like, so I yes, it know. was like, um, it's, a, it's a very long story, okay. but it's like something it was like a medical condition mm. so after that i started feeling like ah oh, you know i don't sound the same anymore and i always wanted to sing you know and even when i talk people always like wait is that your normal voice so i didn't like being like oh so i'm like so yeah, i sound like, different because mm. i didn't know i sounded different until people started like but you sound different what's going on with yeah. you you know so every time i would talk and i'll be like ah oh, she's such a nice voice you know but then i started thinking like yeah but i'm smarter than her you know Ah, or people yeah. maybe or somebody will be like you're that girl bruh she's such a nice body you know but then i'm thinking yeah but i'm prettier than her you know like i started thinking let me what do i have that is better than hers yeah, yeah. you know and the whole time i was comparing myself and i was thinking you know it, it's fine okay but what i was doing wasn't dealing with the insecurity yeah. it was going everywhere to even go levels maybe somebody would mention something and you you start feeling like but why is she like that? Why is she blessed like that? Why yeah. does she has a rich family, sure. you know, yeah. and I don't have one? But it's okay, you know, she can come with her money and all that. But, you know, in school, I'm performing better than her. Uh, that, that's how I felt like that's going to be. So you sort of always needed myself. something exactly. that validates you. Like, you know, yeah, I know you are better in that area, but, but you know, at least I have. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But that wasn't dealing with the insecurity issue until I got saved. Yeah. Like when I got saved and I started reading the word, I started hearing wonderfully and fearfully made. And you know, I started getting security in, mm -hmm. in God. Yes. Then I didn't have to compare myself to any, anybody else. Yeah. You know, like people would be like, they're pointing flames. Like, did you, did you see the other, the other guy that you wanted is now dating? I'm like, oh, it's fine. You know, I'm happy for the. Yeah. You're what? <laughs> no, but the thing is, do you know that you're better? Because the, yeah, the way you dress and the way, yeah, like it's okay, guys. Like, it's not that deep. You know, it's not changing from that. And then I started realizing that. I have actually dealt with the root. That's yeah. why there was like I'm just like okay, it's okay, you know. I don't but, like her. Yeah, but I feel like women when they come to you also like don't don't come and tell me about Nangula mm. and to a point where you are sort of diminishing her yeah. or like putting her down. Like yeah, she's she's smart, but you have a car. Yeah. Like eh, she, yeah, like but... that, that, that really shows that you have an insecurity issue. Mm. Cause other times we're like okay. um, did you hear Pio got all the distinctions, bruh? Yeah, Pio's family is rich. They bought all the excellent booklets, all the Namco booklets. That girl even studies 24 7. Why can't you just be happy for somebody? Exactly. If yes. I was there, I would have done better, but you're not there. Yeah. You didn't study better. You it, didn't reminds better. Me, it reminds me of a video that I actually did before, and I will link it somewhere here. <laughs> somewhere above here. Uh, I think subtle jealousy or just plain, plain blank opinion. Yes. Um, because, yo, it's. Um, it's really, it's really a hard issue. Hey? Yeah, it is now I'm issue. thinking, because now when we're having the conversation, I'm looking at myself and I'm just sort of like, you know, when you, it's like when you read the word, you mm -hmm. sort of like put your life out there and be like, yeah, where am I getting ticks? And where am I getting like, uh, yeah, like, where it's just not making sense. Exactly. And you're like, I think there's, these are certain areas that I actually have to look at, yes. you know, sometimes if somebody comes to you and they're talking good about somebody, like just, uh, Mala, she did this and this. Like, just be be happy mm -hmm. for the person. So I think that is why a lot of women have um, issues with one another to a point where women can't even live like they can't live together. Yeah. Um, I think I'll do a video one day if my friends, if my friend wants to, because I live with a friend. I've lived with friends since um, literally. 15 yeah i've lived with friends um and we are we are all still alive thank god no one killed anybody <laughs> at so so yeah but how can we 
how can we actually deal with this thing with the, where we, we this, secretly sort of dislike, dislike one somebody, another yeah. or we try to validate ourselves or to I make mean, us feel more to feel, make us ourselves feel better we try to yes. out somebody's flaws yes. you know yeah so I how mean, can we, how can we actually how can we deal with this thing i think first of all is to stop putting on a facade like putting on a show pretending to like somebody while you don't mm. that's one thing i stopped doing yeah if i don't i just don't like you and i'm not yeah. gonna pretend i don't yeah. like you i'm not gonna laugh with you and the next moment i'm gonna bless you mm. you know behind yeah so you need to admit that you have it you sure. can't if you don't admit it then you can't deal with it yeah that's true. that's basically you covering up like um people say that arrogance people that are arrogant is insecurity playing dress up you just cover it you haven't mm. dealt with the root yeah you know, it's like you're burying it but in relationship it starts springing up yeah all of a sudden the person is getting a car now you're like yeah yeah but now i feel like since people got the car she's not even visiting me anymore you sure. know things like that like, but mm. it's because you haven't dealt with it yeah just say you're jealous yeah. just admit it I feel, I feel like there's certain like my heart you know how how the words sort of convince you and i'm yeah. just like Maybe there's certain areas I need to revisit. Yes. Just like you know, God just help like, me to deal with certain, certain things. things yes. You know? Yeah. So when you admit it, you come to God and you're like, God, I'm jealous of this person. Mm. And God is like, okay, we can deal with that. And you know, God, I, 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 don't, I don't like the fact that you know this girl, but her life seems like she has it all together. Yeah. She's getting. She just came into church. Now she's getting married. Mm. She, you know, they bought a car. They're moving into a new flat. Like, sure. but God, I've been here serving you for years, but. Nothing, nothing is happening you know me. and you're honest and god is like okay you know we're gonna work mm -hmm. on that mm -hmm. you know and god is like i want you to compliment her I compliment her so she started thinking she's gonna work <laughs> on me. i'm not doing that that shows that you're actually having this issue yeah and god is like slowly gonna start you know it, it becomes natural for you to compliment somebody else because you're like i'm not in competition with you mm -hmm. you know i had a friend once asked me like oh so you're sending us a job are we not like you know competition with you and i'm like what's for me is for me yeah i don't have to compete with exactly. you exactly you can apply this job is for me it's gonna mm. come to me yeah like the, the job for me i never struggled with jobs yeah. people called me for jobs yeah because with that area it's like you know i'm gonna support you yeah i'm gonna the give word, you the word says that he who um what is others, others who, yes. they will also be refreshed exactly so, and the word doesn't lie mm. and these are things that when you start admitting you start seeing your you know other times like i compliment somebody i'm like you're so beautiful ah look who's saying it i'm just like really you just know just accept the compliment just the way it is exactly. if you're beautiful you're just beautiful Don't and sometimes like, it's it's difficult for you to accept it because it's difficult for you to give it to somebody else because oh, you're still dealing with that issue yeah. so you're like i am <laughs> but you don't feel good about yourself yeah so that's why the bible says love yourself before you love somebody else mm -hmm. if you don't love yourself you're gonna hate on everybody and everything yeah. that moves it's true you know like, look at that girl yeah the, the girl is beautiful yeah but did you see the legs go it's like a chicken or something yeah. like because yep. you yourself you have some sort exactly, of so, exactly yes. so that's why it's so important for you to love yourself because it says love yourself and then you'll be able to love others yeah love you as you love uh, yourself, yourself that's how you're you supposed love to love others neighbors, yes. so now if you don't love yourself you're not going to love everybody else yeah. and the first sure. person is you need to love god mm. when you love god and you start like you know i, I started um putting words on the mirror yeah because i was like i don't feel good about myself i, I hate myself i am envious about other people god i need you to deal with my this skin issue is not flawless. yes it's not flawless you know and i had to start loving myself despite my skin my skin mm. people now they're like girl why are you <laughs> using what i had spots and the thing is for somebody that's like mm -hmm. spots are like yeah they're out there i can see it from you know one. so like, I, I used to, to, to put words up in the mirror in, on the mirror and i'll declare them every day oh, you're wonderfully beautiful. and fearfully made. Mm. you don't have to compare yourself to somebody it's you're, you're confident you're not um arrogant because it's a very thin line. affirmation confidence is you don't even have to compare yourself in the first I've, place wait, uh, speaking of confidence um, i've heard of people who dislike me because of my confidence, confidence yes. i mean friends i've heard it from a friend no from one friend actually um okay for me like when people see me out there i especially walk according to the shoes that i'm wearing mm -hmm. <laughs> so i i exude so much confidence because i'm i'm like i walk head up mm -hmm. chest out because i'm like i am somebody like i am i am a child of god i have value i am worthy and so i have I have a very distinct kind of confidence yeah 
and I've heard people who actually dislike me because of that. Because they think you're arrogant. Yes, the they, you they feel I'm arrogant. They think I think I'm all that. Yeah. But I don't think so. So I, now I'm do just... they want you to walk as in I'm very shy. Bruh. Oh, I don't know. So That's what am I supposed to do? I'm just like you are deal with your own issues. Yeah. People really do have issues just yes, because you do. have confidence and you you are sure of who you are. Oh, I feel exactly. like people need to be sure of who they are. And, and that shows that they themselves are not sure of who they are. Yes. They, they see you as a threat. A threat yeah. <laughs> you are me threatened way. Nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so really the the one thing that you mentioned is um yeah. Yes, admission. You can't deal with something that you have not admitted yes. because really you will just sort of cover it up. It's sort of like the imperfections that are yeah. on our faces. We cover up with foundation, mm -hmm. concealer, whatever. Exactly. But if we acknowledge that we have an issue, um, the Lord can really help, help us, us to exactly. deal with it. And I mean, God already knows no, that we cannot exactly. lie to Him. It's not easy for me to lie to you because, like, like you said, there, there are certain things that you were saying that are sort of resonating with myself. I'm like, uh, my heart is sort of moved and I'm like maybe there is an area that I still have not surrendered to the Lord exactly. and it needs to be dealt with so really acknowledgement of that you have an issue exactly. is actually the, the starting like, God is like our, healer, healer, our doctor our physician mm -hmm. so you have to come to him and say doctor this is how I'm feeling you know when you're sick you go there doctor and I have a cough and I have this you know so that he knows what to prescribe for yeah. you. so you can go there and be like God this is what I'm feeling and he's not judging you yeah. you know He's like, he's like the loving father. Yeah, sure. It's in the secret place. Like it's Something. not, you have nothing to be embarrassed about. Like even in, in church, you know, who are you at me? All of us are in the hospital. Yeah. Who are you pretending We for? are all patients. Yes, right? exactly. No one is special. So you have to have that same grace on yourself and be yeah. like, you know, God, this is I can all the Exactly. Yeah. And it spring up from something there mm. because I was taught, you know, to always be the best. And now this girl seems to be better than me. So, so God, please help me deal yeah, with help that. Me deal with, yeah, help me deal and with And I think... I mean, naturally, it, it, it's a natural thing mm -hmm. for us to be sort of jealous or be yeah. envious of other people or be bitter because they are better than us or be or sort of feel like oh, that girl, she never talks well about me, but she's always talking well about other people. Yes. Like, does she ever go? Mm -hmm. Because we're sort of, we are also seeking validation for what yeah. people are saying. Yeah. But God really is, he's our validation. Mm -hmm. If we find our identity in him, then um, I think every all insecurities will really be be dealt with. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. And now those thoughts that you start thinking towards other people that you don't like, those thoughts you can replace with the word of God. So that's what I was doing. I was like, okay, you know what? I think I'm this, but the Bible says I'm that. Mm. So let me replace that thought with the word of God. Yeah. And I'll declare I'm wonderfully and fearfully made. I'm com I'm confident. You know, um, I'm God loved. is for me, not against me. Mm. I'm loved. I'm cherished. I'm His masterpiece. Yeah. I'm, you know. Like that thing built my confidence so much that usually companies would call me to give a speech. Yeah. Nast to be like, we need somebody for guys call work. Till now, that's like, we're doing this whatever. We need a woman that's like bold and confident and mm -hmm. just like you. Yeah. You know, I walk into an interview. I'm like, you know, this is why I'm. This is what I bring to the yeah. table. You know. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, you know, this the lecture stop me like, stop, stop, stop. You're the very first person that's ever confident in your presentation you're yeah, like we can't even fight with you because we feel like everything is right because you're that <laughs> confident because i was like in any questions i would i asked the lecturers and they were like three or four sitting in front of me they're like any uh, questions <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you supposed to be scared of us why are you not yeah. scared you know and i'm like it's because god was telling me this yeah. people are like yeah you think you're all that and you want to just like if you only knew what my father is saying about me <laughs> now i'm thinking i thought i had confidence like yo i need to level up yeah, <laughs> the I'm, confidence if you only like, know my daddy yeah. you know oh it's not new for me when like, a guy is like you're beautiful man <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, then I keep my number. I'm like, did he just say that? You know, it's not as easy as that because I'm like, it's gonna take more than that, mm. you know? Because I love myself. I'm precious. I need to be treated like I'm precious, you yes. know? I'm yeah. not gonna be one of and those sometimes, girls. Sometimes, especially women, women that are insecure, exactly. those are the things they don't like. So people will start disliking you secretly, but it's exactly. just because you are confident that you know exactly. who you are. But then for them, they can't relate to that. Right. So the only way it sort of makes them feel better mm -hmm. is to hate on you. Exactly. Oh, and we don't need to tear each other down, women. We need exactly. to help each other, support exactly. one another, exactly. and really just love one another, one another genuinely, genuinely, without um, conditions and exactly. without hidden agendas. Exactly. That's what people are saying. We don't take ladies serious. 
when they talk about gender by gender based violence and women empowerment because you want us to treat you equally to men, women empowerment, or you want us to swap gender. You guys don't even support each other. You guys so, keep hating and bringing yeah. each other down. Mm. So how are you guys fighting together? Because yeah. sometimes my friend even said, you hate somebody, you know you can never be a model, but you're hating the girl who's modeling. Just support the girl, bro. Yeah. Vote for the girl, you know, because you're like, I'm not in competition with you. Mm. You're running your race at your own pace, in your own yeah. lane. And, you know, my time will come. You're at chapter 43, I'm at chapter 25. And it's okay. Why am I jumping in? It's fine, you know. Yes. Like, I'm running, I'm focused, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm focused on the end prize. And yeah. if you're next to me, I will cheer you. Okay. Girl, you can keep doing it, you I know. Remember, because I remember, I think, confident I think in when I used to struggle with comparison and stuff, I would look at 40-year-olds driving, like, maybe, like, a Mac. A, a Mac. And I'm just like, mm, girl, but you are like... Why are you comparing yourself? This person has lived and now you sort of want to put yourself in the same position as they are. Mm. And and I think comparison is still something that we sort of still working on it. Um because like you 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 do need to arrive, but there are still certain things where you look at me like, well, okay, I'm a bit lesser. But it really just the thing of being sure, affirmation, yeah. being sure of who you are as a child of God. And there is like there is space for everybody yes. to flourish. There is enough. God is not running out of blessings. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> there is space yeah. for everybody. So exactly. yeah. So let yeah. us support so one another. Most women really secretly hate each other because yeah. you think this is, and you need to admit that mm. and just be like, God help me deal with yeah. it. Yeah. And then we can all cheer each other on. Like it's not even difficult for you to tell somebody you're beautiful or yeah. I love your car mm -hmm. or you do this and this because you have nice hair or something. Yeah. Because you're like girl yeah. my ritual hair is here, you know, I ask him to catch a ball like yeah. this is there with the puff, you know. And it's okay. Yes, I love that your is hair. where you are. Exactly. I, I, I might get the, I might never get it and that is And okay. to show I'm not even jealous. Girl, give me the secrets. Me, I've been trying all the skincare. How do you do it? Yeah. Why is your skin glowing? You know, yeah. what, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. You know, or oh, you help somebody else. Like, the person has pompos. You're like, girl, I know, you know. I'm not saying you're not beautiful the way you are, but I know the struggle. You probably tried everything, yeah. you know, and this is what but I use. This is exactly. It might not work, it, it might work but you, you can know? try yeah. if you want. Let me you help know? you. Yes. I'm, I'm having a job, this job. Adverts that I'm getting, I'm going to send it to yeah. you. But other people, you, you start thinking that everybody else is thinking like you. Because yeah. you're thinking like yeah, that. True. Think, yeah, I think she's jealous of me. Did you see the way she greets me? Because the, the moment you greet other people like that, you know that oh, yeah, I'm jealous. Yeah. That's why I'm going to greet uh -huh. you. Now you think everybody else is greet you. Yeah. She, she's just jealous. Yeah. You know? No, it's really hard issues that we have to, to deal, deal with. with. Yes. And acknowledgement is really the, yeah. the, the first step to just healing. Yeah. Completely. Because... It's a healing issue. It's a heart issue. Thank you, mm -hmm. Nangola. Is there anything Thank else you. that you want to say to you ladies out there? Because um, I, I loved, I loved everything we spoke about. Some of the stuff, I'm still like, oh, but I've missed a few stuff. So yeah. I need to sort of go back and just ask the Lord, like, yeah. help me deal with this. Help me deal with this. I'm struggling with this. So I really... Thank you for making time out. And this is not the last time you'll be here, eh? So, <laughs> we'll be <quite> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, anything else? Last words? Um, yeah, I think um, I love uh, I love the topic women empowerment. It's something that's very close to my heart. Mm -hmm. So I love women. I love supporting people. Like, I'm those people you can call for conferences to go give a speech to women, to ladies, to small girls. Mm -hmm. Like, listen, baby girl, whoever you are, you know, you're beautiful, you're yeah. confident, you're precious, you know, you don't have to feel like you have to do certain things for you to, to become validated, mm -hmm. to become better, you know, to start. God already said that you are worth dying for, mm -hmm. you know, he actually proved it, so yeah. you don't have to sell yourself short, you know, you have to start acting like the confident lady that you are, yeah. and admit it if you're struggling, we're all struggling, bruh. The struggle is real. And just because you dealt with something now doesn't mean you don't have to constantly yeah, wash yourself exactly. with the word of God. Yeah, so and, that's why for know, me it's just like... Yeah, it's a constant washing. You know, there are some areas that, Hannah, that you, you need you to know, look out mm. for. And you're not in competition with anybody. You're running your own race. What is for you is... You don't have to fight. You don't have you to fight. You don't have to hate anybody for it. It's going to come, mm -hmm. you know. And if it happens that you're fighting for the same guy, if that guy is for you, 
rest, girl. Just rest. Yeah. <laughs> just rest and be like, God, Stop you, trying to you make him it. recognize exactly. like, he's gonna come. Just, just do it, you know. Mm. Be, be confident in who you are. Yeah. And let's stop hating on each yeah, other. Please, let us uh, yeah. hop. It's not that serious, guys. It's mm. really not it's that really serious. Not that so, guys, thank you for watching. I think this is... Uh, it might be the last video for the year, actually. I need to take a break, man. 2020 has been it so thank you guys for watching please do subscribe do like and do share with whomever you think this would be valuable to and do check out nangula's channel it's in the description box and we did another video as well on whether or not males and females can actually just just be friends so thank you guys so much for watching happy holidays and i'll see you guys Hopefully next year.